What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? First year of trucking is hard. In this clip, we're going to listen to what this young lady says about her first year of trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So I'm going to tell y'all why I took a break from trucking. I'm still a truck driver. Um, but I dealt over the road. I dealt over the road with Swift for a couple of months. And I loved it, you know, as far as like seeing new places. But my checks was not, it was not given. And I hate when people be like, oh, but you're a new driver. Just, just stick with it for the experience. Let me tell you something. When I get behind that wheel and I drive, what is the difference from somebody that's been driving umpteen years? We're still doing the same job. So, yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, we we are doing the same job. That is true. That is true. But I'm about to tell you what the difference is. The difference between a person that got the experience and a person that is still learning, that's the difference. You're still learning. You haven't got, you haven't went nowhere yet. You haven't experienced everything yet. You haven't experienced tight corners. You haven't experienced tight docking. You haven't experienced. That's the difference. See, the companies that you want to get with that pay well, that's looking for drivers that has one, two, or three years of experience, you still got to understand something. You're getting in this in this $100,000 truck, and they want to make sure that you is the right person to drive it. That you know what to do when you're out here, which you're still learning. That's the difference. Places like Swift, Snyder, and the rest of the mega carriers will give you that chance. And of course, like you said, the money is not giving. No, the money is not giving. And the money that you do want, you're going to have to get your experience to get it. But see, this is where you fail to understand, new driver. It's always about getting your experience first experience mountain driving experience weather driving experience uh grades experience tight spots experience comes with time and i know you i, I know you probably got i don't know you you probably got influenced by you know TikTok and say oh i'm about, you know i'm making this money and yada 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 and then when you get in it you over here like, no, the money is not there. What am I doing? See, that's what they don't tell you. Let's get back. That whole, oh, just stick with it for the experience, my ass. I've been to about four trucking companies since I've had my CDO. I just feel like the recruiters will tell you anything, anything to get you behind that wheel. And you're learning, see? You're learning already, new driver. <laughs> You're learning already. You're already learning that, yes, these recruiters, honestly, honestly and truthfully, some, maybe a handful, care about you. They care about your well-being. They care about what you want. They care about what you're looking for. But majority of them, no. No. They're looking for you, naive driver, to get in that seat and drive their truck to make them money. Key word here, make them money. Smashing basil. Oh, this coffee smells like shit. Okay, and yes, you're learning. Recruiters, some recruiters out here don't care about you. That's why you come over to the Lockout Men Podcast, AKA the Recruiter Call Channel, and listen to all of the conversations that we have with these recruiting trucking companies. And hopefully, hopefully, one of those calls that we make to a company that you might be interested in will give you the information to make the decision for you. The Lockout Man Podcast, a.k.a. The Recruiter Call Channel on YouTube. Let's get back at it. Then when you start driving, it's a totally different story. 
my last company that I drove for, it was complete BS. Like, it was complete BS. It was a local job. And instead of me driving a truck, they had me in a damn warehouse. Talking about some, yeah, you have to go through the training. Bitch, this is not what I signed up for. Then I went to another orientation. I'm you just, <laughs> I had to stop right there again. I promise, guys, I'm going to go in here and let it play out. But right here where she was in the warehouse, she probably got with one of them food warehouses that where you had to work in the warehouse and drive. You got to do your research a little bit better, new driver. I'm not going to disclose the name of the company, but it was just everything was a lie. Just a lie. I know people are like, oh, why not disclose to, you know, those small trucking companies? But most of these small trucking companies really want people to drive over the road. And I'm just not, I don't feel like driving over the road. I would rather do local or something even dedicated. But my whole goal was to have my own truck. I was in the process of getting my own truck, but I decided not to because I've heard and I've seen what's been going on with the freight and I didn't want to get a truck and not be making a profit off of my truck. So for right now, I just feel like I just need some time from trucking because the industry right now is just in shambles. I don't know really what to do. So drivers, let me know what your thoughts on this. Thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Look, new driver, I understand that when you get influenced, you come on TikTok and you see all these drivers over here bragging about the money, bragging about the life, bragging about this. Sometimes it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. You know, you're not going to come in this industry straight off at the top. You're not. You're not. Sometimes you might have to go over the road. Sometimes you might luck up and get that dedicated. Sometimes you might get that regional uh, job. But you got to take the time to look for what you really want. Write down everything that you want and then cross out the companies that is not matching your criteria. Now, a lot of the local companies, yes, they want that experience. A lot of companies that is small that do regional that do regional that will have you home on the weekends but this is trucking it's not always going to be giving as you say but not all small companies is looking for a driver to drive over the road all right a lot of mega carriers yes but not that many smaller companies do your research young lady hopefully you'll find what you want but if trucking is not try finding something else that can there's a lot of opportunities with your cdl a lot okay not just trucking not just trucking you can get your diesel mechanic certificate you can find construction work hell you can do busing greyhound uh uh rta local bus school bus Got it locked, boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.